and we'll be headed to your former home of Houston coming up at the end. You were in Houston. And here is Cole, who was a Cy Young winner last year. He's uh, presenting to the pitchers. Um, Brett Strom, our pitching coach, had had so much excitement. O'Hearn knocks one the other way to left center field. Trent Grisha makes the play. And it was it was Garrett Cole. And Palmer today. To use a concept Sig might be familiar with. Tutorials through five. And LeMayhew trying to help out that. Right center field, Cedric Mullins for a three pitch out. O's fans next week, Thursday, June 27th. Coach three here. and change off the bat. That's going to carry out of here. Pretty deep out to the alleys. So Jose Trevino with the ground ball to short, and this is what Kate Povich needed a seven pitch inning, and he keeps this game tied at one. Field's getting closer. First pitch here, smoke to left center, right on cue, base hit. Cedric Mullins with the leadoff single, the Orioles' first hit since. Mullins going on first move after the pickoff. Mullins with the Orioles' second. Red Sox had a percent of runners. A bruise on the hip. And Rios pops it up to the right side behind the net. No play for Trevino here. It's kind of amazing about Marinaccio with a couple of walks. Arias here drives one into left field. That ball is well struck. That ball is not coming back. Elevation off the bat of Ramon Arias. A two run home run into the left field seats gives the Orioles the lead in the fifth. Career numbers versus Cole. But Cole's out of this game. Flumpy was in in April is ancient history. Then his inherited run. And what was one run for the Orioles, the longest streak in the bigs this year. Mateo with a tapper, and Marinaccio has no chance. He throws it into right field, and Mateo will just go ahead and jog into second. He'll make it easily. A swinging butt base hit, and an E1, and the Orioles put another runner at scoring position. Kevin, I'm going to put. And Lou Rutschman takes it. There goes Mateo. He is on the run, and Rutschman fouls it away. Brilliantly pitched right behind him. Rutschmore, the ground ball to short. Mateo will run to third. And get there with two down. Birdland head to Oriole Park next Not week. Two in. out. And O'Hearn takes to throw strikes here to O'Hearn. O'Hearn rips it into right field. That'll add another at least. It will trace to the base of the right field wall. Mateo is in. Mount Castle pumps the brakes at third. And Ryan O'Hearn slides into second. Two doubles both coming with two outs this is a pitch that's a change up on the outer half and he rips it into right field Ryan O'Hearn has turned himself in to a great all around easy hit. which is what Cedric Mullins does after four uh, a three run one one for the nine hitter Grisham and Trent pops it up Mullins a little more straight away this time and Povich has retired eight Yankees in a row. Pen Victor Gonzalez is up as Pope. And Kate Povich has turned and he's hung around long enough to not only give stadium. Now Kate two strike pitch to Volpe off the end of the bat. Mullins in short center. Nine in a row retired by his Kate son Pope. Luke was the assistant coach at Towson at the time. Wow. And he had been at a few games. And I said, I get it. I wouldn't do an interview with me either. That's true. Really? What's up? I'm all, why didn't you do a sideline hit on that? Why didn't you go try to interview them? I don't know. But Bull Durham. Yep. Right side from Cedric to Glaber Torres. 2024 MLB All Star ballot presented by Build Submarines is now open. Vote for. It was a tough fifth inning for Ron Marin. Two run homer in the fifth. A joke, but. Right side from Ramon. This is an easy play for Torres and Gonzalez. No strikeouts, no one. So Jose Trevino represents the tying run. Significant drop off in resume towards the bottom third. Equally unofficial. But that is some real runners in scoring position. On a 2 1 pitch with two down. He takes one a little low. Adley is trying to sell these pitches near the knees, not getting them. And Cena looks a little frustrated too.
Trevino's having a nice offensive season. And another one just below the knees. Back to back walks for Perez out of the pen. And if Aaron Judge was going to be available as a pinch hitter, now would probably be the spot. It's supposed to be the Trent Grisham spot. Anthony Volpe is hanging around, and it is going to be Jemai Jones. You got Volpe waiting on deck, and Jemai Jones was a very late addition. He'll come into the game as a pinch hitter for Grisham. Former Oriole, and Drew French is going to come out and talk to Cino to give a scanner report on Jemai Jones. First things first, I'm going to assume this means Aaron Judge is not available. Today. I would agree. Brian Baker getting heated up quickly. Jemai Jones, who was traded to Baltimore in February of 21 for Alex Cobb. Second round pick by the Angels back in 2015 out of a high school in Georgia. He's had some good minor league seasons. Last year, we had two different AAA teams had a really good year. 28 doubles, 12 homers, and a career high 879 OPS. So he can hit a little bit. Key is a little bit because he just doesn't get to play. This is the Yankees 76th game. Jones has been on the roster the whole year and he's only played in 20. He's three for 12 a walk hit by two pitches. And with the bases loaded Jones swings at the first pitch 